everyone, it's Nick McCarville and it's episode three of the coin toss here at the Australian Open. I'm standing alongside my partner in debate crime, Craig O'Shaughnessy. And Craig, so far, mm -hmm. two and zero. Oh well, what did you expect? Me. I, I, I don't mean, know what I expected. Come on. But today I expect to win and it's Joe Wilfred Sanga taking on Dennis Shapovalov. All right, you ready? I am ready and let's do it. Heads or tails? Heads, please. It is tails. I'm gonna take the lefty from Canada, oh, right. Dennis Shapovalov, I believe is how you say it. Yes, Not it easy. Is. Why don't you give your opinion first on why you think Joe Wilfred Songa is going to win this match? Okay, very good. I, I like that. Joe Wilfred Songa is 32 years old. He's an Australian Open finalist from years past. They've met once before, and the match, Craig, went to your man, Dennis Shapovalov. Yes. But that was a bad day at the office for Joe Wilfred Sanga. What he's got to do is continue the trend mm -hmm. that he started here in his first round against Kevin King. He hit 43 winners. He also won 80% of his first serve points and he saved all five of the break points that he saved. So he's got to be vintage Joe yeah. to take down the team. This match is going to revolve around forehands. And when we look back to the US Open, Dennis had 17 forehand winners. Joe only seven aggressive forehands for the match. Dennis had 70 big aggressive forehands. Joe Wilfred Songa only 45, and that's what's going to really separate these two guys. Okay, but here's the thing: you can't base this matchup off of one bad day for Joe Willie. I disagree. Joe played good. Dennis played great. It was fairly close, but I think those metrics play out for the young Canadian. The other thing I want to point out is Joe knows his stuff on the courts of Melbourne Park. Dennis has only played in one one match here, so oh, he's 18. experience is on his side, It doesn't matter. He's <laughs> young, he's next gen, he's full of confidence. He had a great opening round victory. I think he keeps rolling here down under. Okay, we're going to see how all of it plays out. It's Nick against Craig, Joe against Dennis, mm -hmm. and it's day three of the Australian Open. Join us again tomorrow right here on the Coin Toss. Peace out.